Howdy y'all. Welcome to this week's episode of Jedi TV. I'm your host, Jed. And I'm Jessica. And on today's show, we're going to take a look at our recipe for doing a smoked turkey. This has been a recipe that we've been using for many years. Many years now. It's very popular. Uh, we've taken it to a few parties. Uh, the time I remember most was when we had it uh, as the centerpiece for our Halloween uh, Christmas party. Mm -hmm. We did Christmas at Halloween. The whole theme was done up with with all sorts of Christmas decorations and the centerpiece was the smoked turkey as a roast beast from the Grinch. So, having said all that, we're going to take a look at what we use to smoke a turkey. Jessica's going to take us through a step-by-step -step for that. You're welcome to share your recipes, how you change or modify a recipe like this down in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. Intro out of the way. Let me do what I'm the least good at. Be quiet. <laughs> so I failed already. See, I'm used to leading things, so to let someone else take over and do the recipe is hard for me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, but I'll stop. Are you sure? No. Okay. But I'll try. So today we are going to take a 14-pound turkey and we are going to season it up and we are going to throw it in our smoker out on the patio. So the first thing we need to do is get the smoker going. Off we go. Okay, so we're out here on our patio where we've got our char griller uh, barbecue. Uh, I got this for my birthday many, many years ago and I set it up so that it also had the smoke box attachment. So this side is our charcoal side with our smoke box when I put the charcoal in the smoke box, it will fill this up and we will be able to smoke in this side. So that's what we're gonna do. But to get it started, we need to start the charcoal. And I like to use a charcoal chimney instead of lighter fluid. So it actually has a burner over here that we can just come in and start that. And it's gonna take it a few minutes. We're gonna let it go ahead and uh, get cooking come out here in a few and shut it off and just let it get so the charcoals are all ashed over and nice and white before we put it in the smoker. So I'm just curious, would this speed up the process? No, and you should step away. <laughs> I, step away. Step away from the barbecue, Jed, step away. I am in this black powder, God. Okay, so now that we've got the charcoal chimney going, we are going to go ahead and start prepping the turkey. The first thing we're going to do is put together the aromatics. This is what we're going to put in the body of the turkey to let it give it a, a, an aromatic uh, scent to the bird. So first things first, Jed's finished washing his hands. Yes, ma'am. And now he is going to prep those aromatics. So we've got onion, we've got apple, and we've got cinnamon and rosemary. If you want to cut those up, they can be in big chunks. You don't have to do so four pieces on the apple um, and then four pieces on the onion. We're not going to be eating these so it doesn't have to be pretty. We're going to be tossing these once the turkey's done. We'll add some cinnamon sticks as well and along with some fresh rosemary sprigs that I just got out of our garden. So you're going to put those in the pan and we're going to want to put the, uh, the rosemary and the cinnamon sticks in too. And this is the best part because it starts to smell up your kitchen. Um, we can put in more than one. So we can just grab another one. And you said you just picked these out of the garden? No, the rosemary. <laughs> yes, the Kirkland garden. You know, bring that down. <laughs> the Kirkland garden is great. So we'll go ahead and let that simmer. It'll come to. Um, is that enough cinnamon? Because I like cinnamon. It's plenty of cinnamon. Um, we're going to let that come to a boil uh, while it's simmering. We'll put together the rub. So what we'll do is just take a bowl. You can use really whatever seasonings you like. Uh, I found that. We've got garlic, salt, pepper, and some uh, poultry seasoning, which includes sage and onion and some thyme. So we'll put, uh, you'll grab those four and we're gonna just mix them into this bowl 
however you see fit. And again, it's really up to the size of the bird and your preference regards to how much seasoning you use. So I'm just gonna pour some of this poultry seasoning in there. And then plenty of garlic, because we love garlic in this house. Garlic. Okay. And so, then, and then that makes me wonder, why don't we put garlic inside the cavity of the burger? Have you tried that? Uh, we have, but it really, with the onion in there, yeah. it's just best to leave the garlic on the outside. And then just a little bit of salt. I'm not a huge fan of salt. Oh, come on. Put some more salt in there. Put a little bit more pepper in, because I am a huge fan of pepper. Okay. And there goes my blood pressure. So now just mix that up. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to rub the turkey down with a little bit of olive oil. Mmm, a little turkey massage. Yes, turkey massage. And so you'll want to pick the whole pan up and break it down. And get the olive oil. You can, uh, you can either pour it in your hand or you can just rub it, uh, pour it on the bird and rub it around. Either way. Just make sure you get the legs and the wings. Just oh, rub yeah. it all over. I know how to give a massage. <laughs> Be careful. This is this is a family show. It is a family. And I realize that turkey looks a little bit inappropriate, <laughs> but this could go the wrong way very quickly. It definitely could, and I'm going to keep it family friendly. You but I'm going to need some more olive oil for sure. Smell good. So now what we're gonna want to do is sprinkle this on and make sure we get it all over the place and you can just rub it into the skin right. of the bird. So I'm gonna start with that. You want to reach on the undersides and get the thighs and uh, the backs of the wings as well. This will actually crisp up quite nicely. It really does cake. have an amazing Flavor and crunch. Good stuff. I got a bunch in the armpit of the bird. Yeah. Armpit of the bird's not going to do you a whole lot. No. There is nothing good to eat there. The other thing to note, too, is if you get your turkey from a grocery store, make sure to take out all the plastic parts that pop up the temperature gauge. Um, all that stuff needs to come out of the turkey. Some folks like to actually splay their turkey, cut it in half and lay it on the uh, smoker that way. But I have never had an issue with cooking the turkey this way. And uh, it also allows you like, to fill the cavity with those aromatics. So to give it a little extra, extra flavor. So, okay, so speaking of extra flavor, is now when I use the... Black? Well, you put that away. Is <laughs> now when I use the black powder? No. You, you are not allowed to use black powder for the, in the turkey. For the... No. For the, no. The, <sighs> never give it away. Seriously. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. We're going to give that a few minutes. And while that's happening, I'm going to go turn off the uh, fire on the uh, charcoal chimney. So I just turned off the charcoal chimney, the burner on it. Uh, but we still need to let it sit here until the charcoal becomes nice and ashy. You don't want to put the black charcoal into the smoker. This is going to be really important when you have to add more charcoal to it to keep it at temperature. Uh, as you may know, if you do any barbecuing at all, if you use black briquettes in your food, you are going to end up with a gasoline taste in your meat. So you definitely don't want to do that and it's not good for you. So make sure your charcoal is quite ashed over before you put it in your smoker. Okay, so we're waiting for that to ash over. What's yep. the next step? So we'll go ahead and put the aromatics in the bird. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off on these. And you're just gonna to want to take like a pair of tongs and take each piece of the aromatic and stuff it into the bird. You wanna do that? Absolutely. Be careful, it is hot. While he's doing that, you know, we just thought that this would be a fun thing to do now that we're in the new house and we've got this big new kitchen. So let us know what you think about doing more recipes, more of our um, traditions. 
that we do for the holidays or what have you. We also really love to bake. Little known fact, Jed used to own a dessert shop, just saying. So um, if you're interested, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think, and uh, maybe we can do more of this. And also, while you're down there, and while we're talking about cooking, I am going to put a link in the description of this video to Mr. Purgatory Smith, my gunfighting pard for the last two decades. He has a cooking channel, and that man can cook. So, look for a link down below to his channel. In fact, he just made a special recipe just for us. Recently, he made a, uh, where you take the, the Fritos and you put all the it's like Frito nachos in a bag. Um, he made that recipe just for us. Here's a little glimpse of that. And look for the rest down in the description box, a link to his channel. Hey, all of you gamblers, gunfighters, time travelers, and nerf gunners out there in Jedi TV land. It's Jed's old part here, Purgatory Smith, with a special message, with a special recipe. Jed will provide the link down below to check it out. What is that recipe, you might ask? The Frito Bandito Nacho Bag. So now that we've got that all stuffed and Jed's washing his hands, because you always want to make sure you wash your hands when you deal with the poultry, we're going to go back outside and check on the charcoal and see if it's ready to add to the smoker. Okay, so our charcoal, our first batch of charcoal is ready to be put in the smoker. Are you surprised? No, we find them everywhere. Yes. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, pull out the tray to the smoker box here. And uh, then we're going to take the charcoal from the charcoal chimney and put it here. We'll also get another batch of charcoal going so that it's ready to go on top of this one when it's done couple things to note is you do want to control your airflow when you're smoking. So you'll have, I have a control up here for the uh, air that's coming through. And then I also have a control on the smoke box here that I can open and close. So you'll just want to gauge how much you should, uh, how much airflow you should have in your box based upon your temperature gauge. So right now we just put it in here and it's just climbing up over 100 degrees. When you're smoking your turkey, you want to keep it anywhere between 225 and 250. That's your optimal temperature for smoking the bird. So and, uh, keep that in mind. And a cool day like today, it's 46 degrees. Yes. That'll be a challenge. It'll be a challenge. Uh, another challenge is wind. So right. if you have, if it's cold and windy, good luck. We've actually had that happen one time where I had to bring the bird in and finish roasting it yeah. because it just was not going to happen. So yeah, keep that in mind. A nice sunny day like today. We don't have a lot of wind. It's 46 degrees. We should be okay. Uh, we just have to keep a good close eye on the temperature gauge because you definitely don't want to cook poultry too low of a temperature. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let that get uh, heated up and start another round of coals and then we're going to come back and add the wood for the smoking part. So our second batch of charcoal is not quite done yet but it's almost there but our temperature in our uh, smoker is actually at a little under 250 degrees right now so what we're going to do is we're going to add the wood chips to it. Now wood chips is what's going to create that smoke that's going to give the meat the flavor. You can really choose any kind of wood chips that you're looking for. There's all kinds like maple and cherry. Uh, we're going to use maple today uh, for our turkey. Thought that would be a, a good uh, flavor to add to it. And so basically, I know there's lots of different methodologies out there. Some people like to smoke, to soak their chips before they put them in. Some people says that creates an, uh, an acid taste. Uh, I've just found the best thing to do is just put them on top of the coals and let them smoke 
The one piece of advice I will give you is do not add your meat to the smoker too soon because if you have too much smoke in there, then that's all you get to taste with the meat. So just be very careful about when you actually add your meat. So I'm gonna, just gonna pull this up here and uh, grab some handfuls of wood chips. Okay, so we've got our uh, smoker going and it's time to get the turkey in here. One thing you want to do is not disturb it too much because you want to keep the smoke in, so you want to move fast to get that turkey in. So are we ready? You are ready. All right. Turkey. While it was in the house, I did put a thermometer in there. We're going to want to smoke the turkey till it reaches an internal temperature of 160 degrees. We're going to run the temperature between 225 and 250. So throughout this process, I'm gonna have to come back out and continue to add coals to the box just to make sure we maintain temperature. But otherwise, everything else is just waiting for the bird to cook. You don't wanna disturb it as much as possible. I know it's tempting to take a peek, but just leave it alone at least for two hours before you check it. Okay, so I also need to make sure to adjust the airflow for the temperature so that it stays at the right, uh, the right temperature. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and close up my top a little bit and close up my bottom. And then that way it'll stay hotter longer. Uh, this will help you keep your coals going longer without having to add so many coals. So right now I'm also going to add this batch of coals to it to keep it at temperature. <laughs> Get huddled up for the warm. Okay, so we're about a little over two hours into the smoking process. Mm -hmm. It's uh, temperatures dropped down to uh, about 43 degrees outside right now. So, uh, but we're still maintaining. What about 250? Right about 250. So we're just going to do an internal temperature check. See where we're at. Yep. Of the bird. So we haven't actually opened this until uh, now, because again, you don't want to disturb it as much as possible. But well, we do need to get a temperature check, so Ooh, look at that. Okay, we're not quite at 160 degrees, which is where we want to be. Um, so we'll probably give it another 15 minutes and see where we're at. Uh, but just for fun, I think I'm going to flip the bird around. Uh, it's really golden brown on this side because it's the closest to the, the smoker. So I'm going to flip it around and uh, get it so that it can be browned on the other side. Flip the bird. We're going to flip the bird. Okay, we're going we're to flip the blur bird. I should, should I blur this section? Or? Give it a few more minutes. It wasn't so much flipping the bird as it was rotating the bird. Flip the bird, rotate the bird. No, there's a big difference between <laughs> flipping the bird and rotating the bird, okay? Okay. Okay. So we'll be back. We'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so where are we at? We are at three and a half hours total. Yeah. It is 36 degrees outside and very chilly. Yeah and dark, as you can see. So uh, I believe our bird is ready at 160 degrees. So let's take a look. Oh, oh yeah, boy. that looks good. And we are good temperature wise. So why don't you take those spoons and utilize them to lift the yeah. bird. Look at that. Let's take it inside and uh, get a better look. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the smell. Oh, if you guys had smell a vision on Jedi TV. Mm. Minutes to rest. 
so that all the juices settle. It will continue to cook and raise its internal temperature by another about five degrees while we sit and wait for it. So uh, next up, we'll be trying it out. Let's get rid of the uh, aromatics that we put inside the bird because we won't need those anymore before we go ahead and cut it up. Oh, it smells so good. Get a slice of this thing here and try it out. Oh, and it's still nice and moist too. Look at that. Very, very hot. I'm gonna let you take that hang on to it for just a second. Oh, we're gonna play. Oh, we're gonna be civilized? came out delicious. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Jedi TV and a sort of behind the scenes look at how we do things here at the new place. Glad to have you all with us. I'm Jed. I'm Jessica. And we'll see you in some other place. In some other time. Let's have some more food and have some s'mores. Mm.